good news, everybody. Well, maybe not exactly news, since I'm a little late to the party. Let's call it fashionably late and move on. We have a new free update announcement, and it is pretty spectacular. There are so many game changers in this one. Let's jump straight into it. First thing on the list is animal sociality, and this is exactly what I was talking about. More animal-to-animal -animal interaction, specifically herding behavior plus. This will affect the way that animals interact with each other on so many parameters. It'll affect who mates with who. It'll actually make parents, I hope this is what I'm reading into it, it will make animals interact with their babies. Right now, they have babies, the cutest little babies, and then they just ignore them. That will be fixed. I hope. It also looks like this might make the type of social bonds that different animals, different groups of animals have in the wild more pervasive. Make the real differences between real animals feel real in the game. Because right now, yes, we do have different social structures, but they only really affect two things. One, how many animals you can shove in a habitat, and two, how certain you can be of which genes will be passed on to the next generation, which does mean a lot if you're trying to breed for better genes in franchise mode. But if you're looking for realistic animal behavior, it leaves a lot to be desired. This update looks like it just might bring us a lot of the things that we have wanted. Speaking of breeding, it looks like this update will also affect the player's ability to predict and control what's gonna happen. Because in some groups, you have alphas and only the alphas mate. In other groups, you have leaders, but everyone joins in on the fun. I'm talking about you, bonobos. So the thing is, what if you have a group of animals where you have one male with decent genetics and everybody else is um, not so great. And you really want that one good male to be the father of all of the offspring? I mean, yeah, sure, you could just go in and give everyone else contraceptives, but then what if one of them becomes the alpha, you won't have any babies at all? Now, you don't have to check the Zoopedia to find out who will actually be able to mate in a group, because there will be different symbols for the alphas that reserve breeding rights for themselves, and the leaders who don't. So you will know, will I actually have to remove the current bad alpha from the group in order to get the good male to do the breeding? Or can I just leave it as it is? This will be especially useful for monkeys who want huge groups, where you would have to not just remove an individual, but replace an individual, and, and yes, more knowledge, more power. I absolutely love it. And something that I'm really excited about is that it will make group formation less rigid. The way the game has been so far is you can have this number of males, this number of females, and if you exceed it, everyone is angry, everyone fights. That's not the way it would work in nature. You would have a, a stable group and then individuals could maybe come into it if there's room. And that's what we're going to be seeing. And some group types which have not been possible before, like having two males in a pride of lions, could actually be seen after this update, just like they are rarely, but sometimes seen in nature. There's, there's so much to this, I highly encourage you to go on to planetzoogame.com and read all about it. Even so, I don't think any of us can really grasp the difference that this will make until we see it in action, so I cannot wait for that. Now for builders, the last three on the list are pretty exciting. Now the first one, Null Paths, little less exciting than I thought at first because my mind went straight to glass bridges and all of these exciting things that you could do with raised paths, but it kind of looks like the Null Paths are actually not a new path. What it says is here is disabling the curbs on ground path toggle on any natural path will now create a null path, an invisible path that allow guests and staff to walk across seemingly unmarked terrain. We've been wanting this, I know, so many of us have been wanting this. 
But it really is a path that's already in the game that now gets an option that's also already in the game. Having said that, I love that they've done this. How many times have we not wanted to have an area, especially for me, a walkthrough habitat, where we just let the guests wander? You may have a few marked paths, but guests can also just walk into the woods if they want to. Not as many new options as I was hoping for at reading the headline, but still a lot of interesting things to play with. Multi-axis advanced movement. That sounds very techy. Up until now, we have either been able to move things quick and dirty, where we just grab them and you throw them around, or we've had the advanced movement where we can move them along one axis at a time using the three colored arrows. It looks like this is an addition that kind of gives us a middle ground. Let me just paraphrase this. Now, an additional handle has been added that can move the asset freely across two axes. Now, this should make it so much easier to, say, place something on a table. You put the plate on the table and you lock it to that surface, you lock that axis, but you can move it left, right, back, forth without having to worry about it floating or sinking into the table. And the same thing when you're placing things on walls. This should make building easier than ever. If this works the way I hope it works, yes, please. And last but not least, a flipping lemur fix. Ever created a build that you're really happy with, but then you unpause it and, oh no, some of your assets are climbable and now your animals keep escaping. Yes, I have. And then it says that this will no longer be an issue? I had sworn that I would never build another lemur habitat ever again because those little duckers keep glitching through the roof or climbing through the fence because the posts are made from wood. I know, we have this huge animal behavior update and, and, and we have the null paths that people have been asking nay begging for for, for forever. But I'm really excited about the flipping lemur fix, okay? And you can toggle the climbing function of an object on and off just the object itself or a group of objects. So you could make your climbing frame one group and keep that climbable. And then you can make your fence or your cage or your building another group and make that not climbable. You can create custom barriers out of things that animals would normally just climb through. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for April 4th when all of this amazing stuff happens. I mean, I guess I have to because I don't have a time machine. What about you? Did I miss anything? Is there, is there anything in here that I did not address? Something that, 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 and also I want to know, I, this is not just, I want to comment. No, I, gen I genuinely want to know what you're most excited about because I think that's going to get me more excited. And right now I, I, I just want to be super excited about this because I already am. And, and no, seriously, what will be most useful for you? And, and tell me why, because then I can make it even more useful for me. And I'm being selfish, but I want to know, okay? Please tell me, I want to know. And I also want this update now. Bye.